Hi, I'm Mark, and in this video, I'm going to give you a horseback guided tour of the adults only server Titania. Now, Titania is pretty exclusive, so not a lot of people have seen it, but it's also pretty awesome. So let's take a look. We'll start here at Castle Epic, which is kind of on one side of the server. A castle epic is your kind of standard English Christian castle, but it's very, very cool. As far as epic goes, meh, it's not that big, but it is very, very well done. You want to check out the inside? We can take a look. I'm not going to take a look at the inside of too many buildings, but I think this one's worth it. Let's see if I can get in this door on the first try, because I really hate button doors. Fail. This is the inside of the castle. I'm not quite sure what the, uh, what the purpose of all of this is, but it definitely is eye candy. It's a very, very cool looking serve, or, uh, castle inside. A lot of quartz. This is all done on survival, so a lot of nether mining for quartz. But just a quick view of Castle Epic. Well, let's move on with our horse guided tour. Got to go get Bob. That's Bob, by the way. Come here, Bob. So we move in towards downtown. You can see there's a giant tree over here, which is a very big job if you've ever tried to do it. I personally have only started and gave up because it can be so frustrating to get those organic shapes. And there's a horse in my wheat field. Why is there a horse in my wheat field? That's my house, by the way, my little hole in the wall. And uh, my little log cabin next to it. I have no idea whose horse that is or why he's there. Oh, well. So we're going to keep moving on here. And we'll come up to one of the many bridges and uh, tunnels that are on this server. This server is fully covered with roadways and so it makes traveling around very very easily uh, or very very easy. We'll hang right up here check things out. This is one of the stranger builds I found on this server. I'm not quite sure what it is to be quite honest. It's big and it's stone um, but beyond that I don't know a lot. The individual that built it is no longer on the server so we're not able to get much information, min, information about that. So we'll continue on here, and I think these loop back around so we'll be able to see everything. You saw some pixel art off in the distance. Beautiful building up on the hills there. You can see how roads can make a server so much more cohesive. It definitely seems like some place you could live. And as you tour around here, you get to see a lot of different building styles. Everything from all stone to all wood to a combination of the two. Beautiful house up here, looking over the valley below. Some nice stuff. It's amazing how talented a lot of adult builders are. They say that children are creative, but I find more and more that adults are so creative on Minecraft. And the big difference is it's an organized creativity. Things look nice when they're done. They don't look chaotic and they don't look crazy and ugly. Uh, adults can make things look beautiful. Hopefully this isn't the way we came. So all I need to do is get lost in the middle of my tour. And things are big here. Whether or not I'll be able to do the entire tour in this video remains to be seen. That's one of the reasons I did it on horseback is so that I could check things out a little better. Uh, it is a survival uh, server, so I'm not able to fly and take a look around. We're out in a swamp and another, uh, let's see, who's here? Oh, this is the skeleton spawner. Very cool. We did have some troubles with this. Uh, it got plugged up at one point and actually killed the chunk. We were able to revive the chunk. Um, but it was, it was ugly for a while. We thought for sure the server was going to go down. Moving on. Go through the vines here. We're going to head towards downtown because 
this ends up being a lot of long traveling and not a lot. Why is there a tree in the middle of the road? A lot of long traveling without a lot to see. And hopefully I'm heading towards town. I think I am. Perhaps not. There's a work in progress up here. This is beautiful though. It's a castle and it's gated. But we can't go in, but let's take a look up here and see what we can find. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Beautiful stuff. See what I mean? Adults seem to have this knack for building creative and beautiful things. Not that kids can't, not that teens can't, but there seems to be a certain cohesiveness that comes with being an adult, and I really like to see that. The reason I go on adults-only servers isn't because I hate kids. I have two great kids of my own, but... I find that I like the uh, lack of chaos in, a, in an adult server. Not only from the standpoint of how it's built, but in how the people on the server behave themselves. There's no worries of griefing. There's no worries of stealing. There's no worries about people not getting along. Um, you know, after all, we're all adults. We're expected to get along. So we'll continue on down this road. I gotta get us towards downtown because that's what you need to see. Downtown is pretty amazing on this server. And I apologize for all these long trips down the road, but it gives me an opportunity to talk, especially about being an adult Minecrafter. I do another video series called um, uh, Confessions of, an, of a Minecrafter, uh, a Minecrafting Addict, I'm sorry. Um, Let's start that again. Confessions of a Minecraft Addict. And Confessions of a Minecraft Addict really talks a lot about the, um, what it means to be an adult Minecrafter. Whoa! Hmm, where the sidewalk ends. Let's get back up here. <laughs> Talk a lot about being uh, an adult Minecrafter. And the fact that, as an adult Minecrafter, um, there are certain things that really mirror addiction. Uh, and it's, it's actually kind of funny to look at uh, how similar being a hardcore Minecrafter is to being uh, a drug addict or a, uh, an alcoholic or some of the other things. So I take a funny look at that. Uh, the sad thing is, uh, some of it's true. Uh, people watch that video and say, okay, is it real or is it fiction? Well, the truth is it's a little of both. I get a lot of my inspiration for those videos from my reality, but on the, uh, on the other hand, uh, it's meant to be funny. So uh, check those out if you haven't already. And man, this is a long ride. I didn't realize how big this server really was until I got on horseback and started touring around like this. Thought it'd be a pretty quick video. But now... Let's get you to downtown so you can see what's going on. You can see spawn right up ahead with the four beacons. And this is downtown. Lots of very, very cool stuff here. This is the, um, this is the farm up here. And we can take a ride up there in a little bit. Just a lot of beautiful, beautiful buildings here in downtown. I think this is, yeah, this is the entrance to the farm. You get a little higher here, you can take a look at the town. On the right there, I saw a building that you've definitely got to see. It's a memorial now. So there's the downtown. You're not seeing every bit of it. Some of it is back over here, and some of it is uh, beyond the draw distance um, over in this direction. But overall, that's kind of the downtown you see uh, being built right now. Uh, beautiful place. This is probably one of the most beautiful servers I've ever seen. Not saying there aren't other ones that are even more beautiful, but this one definitely is is got some uh, got some great looking stuff. Oh, that's the farm. <laughs> uh, all the all the needs of the server are taken care of on this farm. 
This is a church right here, which is absolutely stunning. Oh, and by the way, I'm using OzoCraft as my, uh, oh, that's new. What does that say? You have walked through the outdoor. If you are not a prince, please turn around. <laughs> if you are not a prince, I get it. <laughs> Up here, now we're at spawn. Our four beacons are the indicator of that. When you spawn in, you'll spawn in at the very top of the fountain, which is an interesting place to spawn in. I'm going to get off here and show you the nether church. Now, Bob, stay put. This is our nether church. This is uh, basically all going to the same place, which is the nether hub. It just looks cool to have all those separate uh, um, nether portals. But let's go down and check out the nether hub. Hopefully this terrain, to, there we go. This is our nether hub. It's uh, uh, recently been redone, so you can see a lot of the, the gates aren't in place yet, um, but they will be soon. Uh, I really like the look of this. Once again, it was a very big quartz, <laughs> quartz uh, harvesting job, but you can see it's, a, it's definitely a beautiful hub. Getting some lag here all of a sudden for some reason. Not sure why. Sorry about that. We're going to go back to the overworld. Check things out. Hopefully. Yeah, man. Did you ever notice when you're trying to do something like this, that's when you have problems? One of Murphy's Laws. Okay, so we're back in the nether church. Let's see if Bob decided to stay around. Oh, terrific. A chicken egg. Get out of here. There he is. Come here, Bob. Yeah, I'll smack him on the butt. Oh, let's go this way. So that's the nether church. Moving on, we've got a few more beautiful buildings. This is the courthouse here. Now this building is a memorial. This is a memorial to not lighting a wood building with lava. What happened here is that lava um, fire griefing had gotten turned off accidentally. So the, uh, the server administrator decided it should be turned on. Little did he know that this person had lit their entire wooden house with lava. So as soon as fire griefing turned back on, this is what happened. So now it stands in memoriam of never doing that again. Oh, it wasn't my house, by the way. This is the art museum here. All glass. We can even ride our horse on top. As far as art goes, you've probably already seen most of it. It's typical uh, um, art from Minecraft, but let's go take a look anyhow. So we'll hop off Bob here. And walk through the turnstiles. Minecrafter oppression. <laughs> Fun. And just different artsy fartsy kind of looking things. Oh, I believe there's a snack bar down here too. Oh yeah, here's the snack bar. So if you get hungry while you're at the museum, you can go check this out. So let's go back out, hop on Bob. Thanks for not wandering off, buddy. We'll head this way a little bit further. Now you notice there's four intersections. Oh, this is the redstone prison here. You notice there were four different directions at downtown that you could go. Uh, so this is one of them. I think we're near the edge of town here. So I'm going to head back towards spawn. We'll check out those other directions. There's something to see at each of them. Some unique stuff. A lot of beautiful, beautiful buildings, but, uh, you know, you'll see beautiful buildings, I think, on any server. But there's some really unique, cool stuff that you're not going to find anyplace else on this server. And I wish I could show it to you all, but this would be one really long video. So I'm trying to just show you some stuff that's a little closer to town. Oh, I wanted to show you this, too. This is our spawn memorial or spawn... All done in gold. 
So you can tell it's a little older server by how much has been harvested for some of this stuff. Uh, it's pretty amazing. And having that many beacons uh, is also pretty rare. Um, some people would say, oh, you should move them around, but they look really cool all together. So we're going to leave them there. I'm going to head out of town here. Take a look over this way. There's a couple of things of interest. I just wish they weren't so far away. That is, I guess, the disadvantage of a big server, huh? Because it takes so long to get to certain places. But I think you'll like what you're going to see here. I think this is where we used our fifth beacon also. I'm not certain. We had five beacons. Yep, there it is. We've got our little Old West frontier type place here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then also, this is our um, stronghold. This is how we got uh, how we got to the end. Well, that's interesting. There's a black in the middle of the road. That's about this one ends about here. But let me see if this is working properly, because if it is, it's pretty cool. So you walk in here, da, 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 and you want to get down to the uh, down into the stronghold, but you can't. So you start reading the signs, and it says, "Any sacrifice to the dragon gains the a torch of blood." Any sacrifice. So if I put something on here, it used to work that these opened up to reveal that. So let's grab one of those. We're going to bring it over here, and we put it on here. And it opens these gates. And then we can go down to the stronghold down here. Now, you've probably seen strongholds before, so um, I'm not going to go walking around the stronghold. But this is one of the stair designs I really like. If you look at the lighting on here, uh, it's very, very cool. But, um, yeah, this, is, this leads down to the stronghold. So instead of just a, a simple hole leading to the stronghold, uh, we've got the Zombietron 2000, must be a zombie grinder. Uh, this is a stronghold and the end is ahead, or the end is near. So yeah, you know, this is something you can think about on your servers. Of, is instead of making things just kind of, I don't know, standard, generic, you can make them so that they have a unique quality, even things like this, even just the stronghold gate. Now if you look, I can't get out here, bonk. However... I get rid of this torch, that closes and that opens. Pretty slick, eh? I thought so. Well, let's find Bob. There he is. You're being a good horse today, Bob. A lot of times Bob likes to wander off, then I have to go hunting for him. Not like with a gun, but or a bow, but I have to go looking for him. Do you ever notice on servers it always seems to be nighttime? This server is no exception, especially when I'm doing tours and things like that. The server always seems to be night. So we're heading back towards downtown now. Uh, one more stop I want to do, uh, and uh, then we'll we'll wrap up this quickie tour. You never want to wrap up a quickie, but in this case, we're going to have to. But in this downtown area, you can see a lot of the more unique stuff. There's a public swimming pool, which is very cool. Take a look at that real quick. Public swimming pool. Nice, huh? And then this is the boardwalk. Some restaurants down along the boardwalk. A couple of shops. Um, I believe this is a florist. Is this the florist? Mm, don't know. There's a florist here, too. Let's see. Is this? Oh, yeah. This is the florist. You can see the greenhouse here. Lots of different buildings. Different shops. Things you would normally... Blacksmith. Things you would normally find in a downtown. And a few surprises as well, like a Titania fried chicken. Not to be confused with Kentucky fried chicken. Totally different. But this one does provide uh, chicken and feathers and eggs at a drive through So welcome to Titania Fried Chicken. Help yourself. That's pretty cool. 
even set up like one in the inside, but there's a chicken auto cooker in there. So let's take a run out this way, see what we can find. Oh, we found a dead end. Let's go overland. Come on, Bob. Over the top. Over the top. There you go. Good boy. There's a lot of pixel art out here. We've got Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man. Ooh, there's that big structure we saw earlier. Okay, I know where we are now. And we've got Doctor Who and the TARDIS. TARDIS is a pretty amazing build. Oh, looks like we had a creeper go blow up here. Remember, if you're on a server, fill your divots. Yeah, that TARDIS is pretty rocking. You can see it over there. I'm not a big fan of pixel art myself to do it. I just find it tedious. But I think when people do it, it's pretty cool stuff. Now, I know for a fact that these lamps, lamps were cheated in. Um, these are all beacons, um, but they make for a cool effect. So I think that the, uh, the admin allowed that to happen. If you're ever looking for a cool light effect, definitely beacons. If you're in creative or you've got a lot of time on your hands. Now, what we're, we're going past right now is a hedge maze. You can see it on our right-hand side. It is modeled after the hedge maze from The Shining. If you've ever seen the movie The Shining, um, I believe this hotel is called The Overlook. Now this isn't finished yet, it's under construction, um, but you get the idea. I mean it's a huge hotel project with a hedge maze based off of the movie itself, which is pretty cool. I think we can go up top and get a look at that hedge maze. Then we're going to wrap up this little tour. Let's see here. Let's find some stairs. There we go. Oh, the grand staircase. Come up here. Hopefully this will give us a view of that hedge maze. Yeah. Yep. Let's get a block underneath me here. There's the hedge maze. You can see it's pretty huge and pretty amazing. I'd love to do a, a tour just uh, walking through the hedge maze sometime. Maybe that'll be one of my videos. So that's about it. I mean, that is definitely only a partial tour of Titania, but it gives you an idea of what an awesome server can look like. If you'd like uh, any more information, feel free to leave a comment. I know that they are not accepting applications right now, so uh, I'm sorry, I probably can't help you get in there. Um, but if you liked what you saw, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't like it, keep that to yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.